back everybody. This is Mike with Trade My Gun. Today we're going to talk about the amazing push paintball goggles. These goggles, let's just start with this company. Push was actually started in 2001. They were a small production company that released a movie called Push, all about paintball. And then 16, about 16 years later, Brian Benini uh, created what we know today as Push Paintball. And they have a great line of products. And I would say they are the top of the line. You know, um, you're not going to be, if you're on a budget, you're not going to be using Push equipment. But that is so great for this industry because there are a ton of people like myself, that's been in paintball for a long, long time, that really just wants to use exceptional, qual high-quality equipment. And the Push Paintball Mask, um, boy, they did not disappoint. In 2017, um, approximately, they came out with this goggle. And the first thing that they did was every goggle that you bought came with a case. So you can see, I'm going to go ahead and start working with this one over here to show you. Every push mask that you buy, as long as it's, the, they did come out with a basic, but uh, later on in life, but uh, all of their top mainline goggles come with a protective case. So you don't have to worry about your goggle getting crushed. Um, you know, you got a quality case that you can use to keep it protected. Um, here today, we've got three different, three different types. So on our website, we have them organized. They're easy to find at TradeMyGun.com. We create variations with most of them. And what we've got is we've got the White Walker series, and then we've got a couple of the camo, uh, camo series goggles that we have here on display today. We also have the infamous goggle, and there's several of them. And again, we've got them on our website. This is an example. These are examples of the infamous goggle. Um, one way to know for sure that you've got the infamous is they come with the infamous strap. So you can see that. Um, super, super hot. This is a very, very popular design. And then you got the Hermesis gobble over here on the end, which again, we've got them on our website. So let's go through some of the features on these. And uh, you know, talk about, um, talk about why these sell for in the 220 to 250 dollar range and you know i talked about the one right away is the case you get the case that comes along with every goggle that you buy which if you buy that separately you're going to spend 40 to 50 dollars for a goggle case so there you go that gets you down right away to kind of a normal price high-end goggle if you didn't get the case but there are so many features with this goggle that just makes it stand out from the rest. Um, they were the first ones, feature number one, they were the first ones to come out with the magnetic chin strap. Oh my gosh. Many of you will remember the days when the uh, first thing you did when you got a mask was you cut the chin strap off because you didn't want it to get in the way. Well, that all changed. You know, all the, all the tournament series now, they require you to use the chin strap. Um, rightfully so, it keeps the mask on your head. There were some accidents that happened that uh, changed that and made it a requirement. Um, tournaments, any national tournament is going to require, any regional tournament is going to require, and hopefully local tournaments are requiring a chin strap as well. So with this one, it's super easy to put on. Look at that. You just snap it on. I mean, it is so cool. Easy to take off and easy to put on. So the chin strap was the number one thing. Those have come out now. Other companies kind of copied them and came out with some, but they were the first ones to bring that out. Um, they also have an adjustable nose bridge. So with, in addition to the case, you're going to get this tool that will come with each one of these. And you might think it's strange that you're going to need a tool for a mask, but what they decided was we want to make a mask that's going to be optimized around comfort, safety, and no fog. That is the biggest complaint that anybody gets is when you have a foggy lens. So what they figured out is, is that 
This bridge, how the bridge fits over your nose is extremely important in preventing your lens from fogging. So think about it. You've got your eyes up here in the mask. You've got your foam that's, you know, keeping it comfortable and, and sealing it on your face. But by being able to adjust the bridge of, of the nose bridge, it prevents a perfect seal over your nose. Well, what does that do? When you're breathing hard and playing and you've got hot air coming out of your nose, if you've got a gap and hot air, hot air rises, guess what? It rises. So by sealing that off, it keeps the air down, and your mouth, of course, is down below. So it keeps all of the hot air from rising up into the lens chamber. Genius. And uh, so they decided to do that. We're going to create a technology where we can adjust that nose so that depending on the size of your nose, you can adjust it. All you do, stick it right in this hole and you can make the adjustment and then you can seal it off. That is so important. I just can't express it enough. If you, you know, if you have a push mask and you're not using that feature, um, you know, start using it because it will work. Keeping that air down and keeping it out of the lens area is so, so important. So the adjustable nose bridge, Super, super cool, uh, innovative technology that actually um, is providing a super important function. Um, the other thing they have is their lens system. They have a quad layer lens system. It's optically correct in a big field of vision. Um, they have strategically designed 16 different vent zones. So, it, they're all over the place. They put them in places, and again, we just talked about keeping the hot air down below. Well, you still want to expel it. You've got to expel that hot air out of the mask. So, they've created all the different vent zones, 16 of them, that are put in the right places to help get that hot air out. Again, just trying to keep your lens from fogging. That's really all we're trying to do here. Um, they also have a triple layer foam system. So inside here, you've got three layers. You can actually see it. One, two, three. Three different layers. This is the important one because, you know, that's where it's in contact with your forehead. It's sweaty. So by adding that third layer on there, it keeps it, uh, it, it, keeps it intact for a longer period of time. It allows you to clean it off without getting so much moisture into the uh, the open pores of the phone. So that's, you know, again, very little details, but oh my gosh, that is why this is such a great mask. Um, so we got the triple layer phones. Um, strap, let's talk about the strap. Well, we don't want it to come off our face, right? We want to keep the mask on. And to do that, what they came up with was they put silicon strips on it. So look on the inside of the strap. See these little squiggly lines? That's silicon. That keeps it secure to your head. Um, so, you know, in summary, I just want to kind of conclude. I kind of hit those highlights of the main features and benefits of this mask. Of course, you get the case. We've got the magnetic chin strap. Um, we've got the adjustable nose bridge. We've got the triple layer foam. We've got the 16 different ventilation layers. We've got the silicon on the back of the strap. And we've got the quad lay, quad, you know, four different layers in this lens. So I hope you enjoyed our video today. So if you are someone like myself that likes top-notch quality products, push the push mask might be the product for you. We would appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel, like the video, and comment below. Let us know what it is that you might like to see next. We'll check it out, and maybe you'll see your video next.